Now here's a component that's a lot of fun. The Q-Timeline component. And a timeline component is going to need a few things. It's going to need a Q-Timeline-Entry. And inside of that entry, we can have things like a title. So let's set the title of this one equal to Luke's birthday. Save that. And there we go. There it is. It's not much to begin with. We can also add a subtitle in here. And I'll set that to the 28th of March. How about we say 28th Ma like that and save that. Now next, I'm going to throw some lorem ipsum directly inside of here. So lorem tab. Save it, and there we go. Now we might do a little bit of padding around the edge, otherwise it looks funky. So I'll add padding in there to our page. That's a useful little attribute we get with Quasar. And let's go ahead and make two more of these. So we have three in total. How about this? Shannon's birthday. That's my girlfriend, in whom I adore. 26th of October. Save it. All right, starting to look really good. And how about we say... Lily's birthday. That's my dog, and I'll be honest, I don't actually know her birthday, so I can choose something at random, 21st of March. All right, so I like that. Next, we can also add icons in as well. So let's come up here, and I'll go to the first entry and say the icon is equal to cake. And there we go, we get this nice little cake icon. What else can we do? We can also change the color, so let's set this one equal to red. Beautiful. And I wonder if I can add a heart in here. Icon is equal to heart. Mm, it's not heart. I think it might be favorite. Favorite. There we go. Because she is my favorite. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know I can be sappy sometimes. Now let's add an avatar into this one. And we'll use pixum. Pixum.photos slash. And let's get an 80 by 80 photo. There we go. So we can throw a photo in there. And something else worth knowing is that the body here if needed, can actually sit inside its own property. So we could say body, and how about we set that to a variable that is called body. And then what I'll do is I'll cut this, and then we'll come down here, and we'll say set up, return, body is equal to that text. All right, so coming up here, save it. And that body is still going to show up there. And we can do it for all these other components as well which is a really nice way just to simplify things. So I'm gonna cut that, snip that, save it, and everything still looks the same, but it's a little bit cleaner when you only use attributes. I really like that. And by the way though, if you aren't using attributes, you can throw whatever you like in here. So you could have a Q-image, and then the source of that could be pixum.photos slash 800 by 600, for example. Yeah, so you can easily throw some photos in there if you like. Oh, that's a really nice photo. All right, so let's go back to our original example though and move on. Another thing we can do is actually hook into the slots for the title and the subtitle. So if you need a little bit of extra flexibility here, you can get rid of them or I'll leave them there so we have the content visible. And then we can just use slots to display them. Template, and then we'll say here, title, and just whack that text directly in there, like so. And let's do another one for the subtitle. And whack that text directly in there for the subtitle, which means I can remove both of these and save it, and nothing changes, that still works. But it means that we have more flexibility here. So I could say Q-icon, for example, with a name equal to, I don't know, person. Yeah, so we do have that extra bit of flexibility if we're using templates there. But I'm gonna bring us back once again because this is simpler if you don't need that added flexibility. Now, this is pretty cool. You can say which side the content is on. Now this confused me at first. When I say side here, I'm saying what side do I want the content to be on? So at the moment it is on the right side of the line. So if I set that to right, nothing changes. But if I want the content to be on the left side of the line, now it's going to show on the left side of this line. All right, so that's good to know. Let's bring it back to right. Another thing we can actually do here is change the layout. So if we say layout is equal to dense, that is the default so it changes nothing. 
But if we change the layout to comfortable, notice that the subtitles are now going to be on the other side. So save that. These subtitles are now showing on the left side of the line. That's what comfortable does. Another option that we have is loose. And loose puts the subtitle on the left and the title in the center. So you can't actually see that yet because I haven't got a title. So let's go ahead and do a title. I'll show you what that looks like. Super easy. Q dash timeline dash entry. It's an entry just like any of the other ones. However, we can add in here heading. So let's go ahead and save that. And the heading here is going to say birthdays. And there we go. So once again, let me go back here and show you what comfortable looks like. Comfortable. Comfortable means that the heading is aligning with this line here. But when we go to loose, that heading is now centered over everything as a whole. All right, so just a few variations there. I'll go through them one more time. We have dense, that's the default, and it means everything aligns to the left. We have comfortable, and that means that the subtitles are going to appear on the left side of the line. Then we have loose, which means that the subtitle is going to be on the left side of the line and the heading is going to be centered there. So there you have it. One more thing I want to show you where loose is particularly useful is when you want to have one of these bits of content to be flipped over to the other side. I'll show you what I mean. So this side property here means that all of them are going to be on the right side unless specified otherwise. So we can come down here to the second entry and say, hey, I want the content for you to actually show on the left side. And there we go. We get this really nice effect where it basically switches from side to side. And you can imagine if you were spitting out a ton of data, like 20 entries, for example, you could basically do some maths to check out whether or not it's an odd number and then throw it on the other side to make them go on the right and left side. Or maybe you want certain content to appear on the right and certain content to appear on the left. So we have that extra bit of flexibility, which is really, really cool. And once again, I just wanna point out here that one of the great things about Quasar is that you can do things very simply like this using attributes. This API to me is just perfect. I wouldn't change a thing. And then if you want to dig a little bit deeper, if you're thinking, oh, I actually want a bit more control over this title, you can go ahead and do that using templates and then just use the slot that you need. In this case, the title and then my title. And there we go. I actually hooked into the title here. So there you go. That is the Q timeline component. Super simple to use, but really, really flexible through the use of things like slots and these different layouts. Hope you enjoyed this one. Bye for now.